your paper is about stagnant technologies uh, in Africa. Did you find that th that was a significant issue for them and what was the key learning that you identified? Thanks, Lynn. So I'll begin by narrating what we found in Ghana. In a village just outside Accra, you'll find kids playing together and they are passing red urine. These kids look thin, but they're otherwise healthy. Their mothers have no motivation to take them to hospital to find out why these kids are suffering from. Yet they could be suffering from a parasitic disease called schistosomiasis. The normal routine way of diagnosing schistosomiasis is a lab test so using a microscope and something which is not very practical because the mother has other calls to do at home. She, the kid, there are other kids to take care of and she has to travel to a hospital. And that's, that's, a, that's a hardship for people that, living yes, in rural areas, in rural right? Areas. Yeah. Yet the solution could be just 20 kilometers away at the Noguchi Memorial Hospital in Research Institute in Accra, Ghana, where there's a professor who has developed a point of care diagnostic test, which could be taken to the village instead of the kids coming to the hospitals. But this technology just lies stagnated in the research institute because it has, the idea has not been really converted mm. to a product that can be used in the villages. How terrible that the solution is so close and yet because of these barriers is not reaching the people who need it. What, uh, this disease, what can it lead to? Is it a serious disease? Yes, it, it, so diagnosis of this disease is very easy. But if you left, uh, left undiagnosed and left untreated, it leads to stunted growth, developmental disabilities in kids, and it may eventually lead to cancers, both bladder and liver cancers when the kids grow up. So very serious issue. So the issue of then again of this stagnant technology that could make such a profound difference, not getting out of the lab, is it a common problem in Sub-Saharan Africa? Yes, so we visited about 23 research institutes spread across Africa and also academic research institutes and talked to 39 scientists and we came across a lot of technologies, 25 technologies actually, which are lying, are, are ideas just lying in laboratories and this could be commercialized and converted into use to help the health of the African population. <laughs>